Hello, everybody. Let's learn Japanese with NHK Learning Materials with my explanation in English. This is number nine, lesson nine. Today, we're gonna learn a very important sentence in Japanese, which is, what is this in English? So, let's learn a lot of Japanese vocabularies and expressions together with me. First, we will check the video in Japanese with Japanese and English subtitles. After that, I explain each word and expression meaning in English for you. So, you will understand the deep meaning and expressions of each Japanese. And after that, let's watch video clip with Japanese conversation again, but this time without subtitles. So let's try and understand every Japanese only listening Japanese without subtitles. And finally, this is very important. Let's practice speaking in Japanese to improve your speaking ability in Japanese. Of course, we know that practice is only way to improve our ability, right? If you think my channels and videos is good for you to learn Japanese, please subscribe my channels. And if you have a friend who is also learning Japanese, please share my video and channels with your friends as well. So now, let's get it started. Okay, so now we will check the video clip on the left side of this display. There is a Japanese conversation among friends. And you also check Japanese and English subtitles on the right side. So let's check this video clip with Japanese conversation with subtitles. Okay, are you ready to check? Let's start it. ここがデパ地下だよいろんな食べ物があっていいよねあーすごいこれは何ですか大根の漬物だよ食べてみるいただきます<笑>美味しいですこれも食べてみるここがデパ地下だよいろんな食べ物があっていいよねあーすごいこれは何ですか大根の漬物だよ食べてみるいただきます Did you get it? Could you understand the Japanese? If you couldn't understand them, don't worry about it because I will explain each Japanese meaning for you. So let's start. So one guy said, ここがデパ地下だよ He said, This means in English, Here is a department store basement. So now I will explain one by one. In Japanese, koko means in English here. Depa means department. It is a shortened form of department. So depa means department. Chika means basement. So depa chika, we say, you can understand it as department store basement. Japanese department basement has a lot of food. So if you have a chance, please visit there. It's gonna be very fun for you. And we also can taste free, free of charge. So it's very exciting and interesting place for you. Depachika means department store basement. Now, another guy said in Japanese, いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。That means in English, it's nice to have a variety of foods. 
So, one by one, one by one, I will explain in English. いろいろな means in English. A variety of. 食べ物 means foods. So, いろいろな食べ物 in English. A variety of foods. あっていいよね。いい in Japanese means good, nice in English. So, it's nice means いいよね。いいね。It's nice. To have a variety of foods. いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。Did you get it? Then she replied by saying, すごい means great, amazing, すごい awesome, like this in English. Then, this is today's key phrase. We need to remember this one, okay? これは何ですか Very important phrase, isn't it? What is this? In English. これ means this. 何 means what. This means is. And this is, of course, question sentence, right? You see this question mark, and in Japanese sentence, in question sentence, we put, almost always put ka at the last of sentence. And the tone of sentence is going up. So, If I say in Japanese, これは何ですか You notice that the last tone is going up. And this sound, かこれは何ですか This is very useful Japanese sentence. What is this? Okay? Then, he replied by saying, 大根の漬物だよ This is a little bit complicated, right? Because, Here is a kanji form. As you know, Japanese has a three types of letters. One is kanji, another one is hiragana, another one is katakana. So we Japanese using three types of letters. Anyway, daikon. This is a kanji form, means daikon. In English, radish. Tsukemono is a pickled. You know, we have a pickles abroad. It is kind of a pickled radish. That is, daikon no tsukemono. Pickled radish. It's pickled radish. Tabete miru? Do you try to eat? Or would you like to try? Like this. Tabete miru? Taberu means eat. Try to is asking somebody to try it, right? So try to eat. Again, this is a question form, so the last tone is going up. Tabete miru? Tabete miru? Right? Tone is going up. So, as I said, Japanese department basement, there is a variety of foods, and we can test it free of charge for a small portion before we actually purchase it. So, I think it's going to be very exciting and interesting place for you to visit. Then she said, Itadakimasu. Almost all Japanese say before we eat something, we say Itadakimasu. This Itadakimasu phrase contains the meaning of some kind of appreciation and thankfulness for the food which we can eat. Itadakimasu includes this kind of meaning. So it is like kind of a, in Italian, buon appetito, right? Let's enjoy to eating food, to eat food like that. Itadakimasu is we are ready to eat and including the meaning of appreciation, respectfulness for the food we can eat. Itadakimasu. Did you get it? Then she said, oishi desu. Oishi means delicious, right? And another guy said, これも食べてみる Again, this is a question form. So, the tone at the last will be go up. これも食べてみる食べてみる Right? So, in English, that means, would you like to try this too? Would you like to try this? Another one? Like this. これも食べてみる So, I hope you understand New English vocabularies and expressions with my English explanation. 
So, let's review once again. ここがデパ地下だよ。In English, meaning like this. ここ means here. デパ地下 means department store basement. いろいろな means a variety of. 食べ物 means food. いいよね。It's nice. あって is existed or be, right? いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。It's nice to have a variety of foods. すごい。Great. And this is a key phrase for us to remember. これは何ですか ?What's this? 何 is what? これ is this? And point is tone of last sentence. Tone of the last part of sentence in question form is go up. これは何ですか ?I think this is the same in English as well. Then, 大根 means, in, this is a kanji form. 大根 means radish. 漬物 means pickled. So, 大根の漬物 means pickled radish. 食べてみる Would you like to eat? Try to eat? 食べる means eat. 見る is We use this middle sentence is if we ask somebody to try to do something. Middle is a kind of a question form. So, tabete middle means try to eat. Would you like to try it? Like this. Then, we say itadakimasu before we eat something. So, to show appreciation, respect for the food we can eat, like this. Itadakimasu. Including this meaning. Okay? Oishi des means it's delicious. Oishi is delicious. Then, kore mo tabete miru. Taberu again. Taberu means eat. Kore mo. This too. Miru, would you like? Explanation in English, would you like? Miru. So, would you like to try this too? Kore mo tabete miru. Asking someone to do something. これも食べてみる ?I hope you understand the detailed Japanese meaning and expressions now. So, next part is let's watch it again without subtitles. Are you ready to check? Are you ready to understand every Japanese without subtitles? Okay, now let's check Japanese conversation without subtitles and try to understand them. ここがデパ地下だよいろんな食べ物があっていいよねあーすごいこれは何ですか大根の漬物だよ食べてみるいただきますほっ<笑>美味しいですこれも食べてみる How was it? Could you catch up Japanese and、uh, could you understand the Japanese meaning? Okay, let's check it again. ここがデパ地下だよいろんな食べ物があっていいよねあーすごいこれは何ですか大根の漬物だよ食べてみるいただきます。美味しいです。これも食べてみる。Could you get them? So I hope so. Now finally, let's practice speaking in Japanese together because best and simplest way to improve our speaking ability is practice, right? So let's try to speak Japanese one sentence by one sentence. Let's try it. ここがデパ地下だよ Okay, now let's try to say this sentence in Japanese. ここがデパ地下だよ means here is a department basement store. ここがデパ地下だよ Now it's your turn. ここがデパ地下だよ
Did you say it? Now let's move to next sentence. いろんな食べ物があっていいよね。Then let's practice by saying this sentence. いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。いろいろな means a lot of variety. 食べ物 means food. いいよね means it's nice. So it's nice to have a lot of varieties of food. いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。Now it's your turn. Let's practice speaking in Japanese. いろいろな食べ物があっていいよね。Did you say it? Now let's move to next sentence. Ah, すごい Then she replied, she replied by saying, Wow, すごい In English, Oh, amazing, great, awesome, すごい means like that. Wow, すごい Now it's your turn. Please practice speaking in Japanese. Wow, すごい Did you say it? Now let's move to the next sentence. This is today's key phrase. これは何ですか Very important, right? What's this? What is this? これは何ですか Now it's your turn to practice speaking Japanese. これは何ですかこれは何ですか The point is tone at the last. It's going up. これは何ですか Now it's your turn. Please practice it. Did you say it? これは何ですか Now let's move to the next sentence. 大根の漬物だよ。So, it's better to remember 大根の漬物 because I like it. It's very tasty. Let's practice speaking in Japanese by using this sentence. 大根の漬物だよ。大根の漬物 Do you remember in English? Pickled radish. 大根の漬物だよ。大根の漬物だよ。Now it's your turn. Let's practice speak in Japanese for every word like this. 大根の漬物だよ。Did you say it? Now let's move to the next sentence. 食べてみる食べてみる One guy said, let's practice. 食べてみる Would you like to eat this? 食べてみる Now it's your turn. 食べてみる Did you say it? Now let's move to next. いただきます This is also very important and frequently hard sentence in Japan before we eat something. いただきます。いただきます。I think for you, this is very important to practice to say in Japanese this one. Because if you say this, いただきます before you eat something, as a Japanese people will be amazed and、uh, they will be happy to hear that. いただきます。Because this contains appreciation, thankfulness, respect for food, we're gonna eat, okay? いただきます。Now it's your turn to practice say this word. いただきます。Did you say it? Now let's move to next. おいしいです。おいしいです。means it's delicious. So if you feel delicious, you will say in Japanese, おいしいです。おいしいです。Did you say it? Have you practiced this sentence? おいしいです。Now let's move to next. これも食べてみる One guy said, これも食べてみる Would you like to eat this too? This purple one. これも食べてみる Now let's practice to, to speak Japanese. これも食べてみるこれも食べてみる Again, the last tone is go up, right? これも食べてみるこれも食べてみる Now it's your turn to speak Japanese. これも食べてみる Have we practiced speaking in Japanese? I hope so, because the best way to improve our speaking ability is practice speaking. 
That's all for today's Japanese language class. How was it? Are you enjoyed? We learned very important sentence. これは何ですか In English, what's this? I hope you enjoyed my video and my channels and you could learn new, in- new Japanese vocabularies and expressions from this video. And if you think this my channel is good for you to learn Japanese, Please subscribe my channels and check other videos already uploaded on my channels. And if you have a friend who is learning Japanese as well, please share my channels and videos with your friends. Thank you very much for watching my video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Stay healthy. Bye.